My name is Amanda Becker. I'm with the United States Tennis Association of Florida. And this is my friend here, Nolan. He is 10 years old. But today, we're going to pretend that he is either 7 or 8 years old. Because the activities that we're going to show you are for the 7 and 8 year old division that you're going to be doing at the festival. So we're going to be doing all of these activities with a red ball and on a 36 foot court with a pop-up net. So everything on this in these activities is with a red ball. The first activity is the ball handling skills. This will take about five minutes. You can be very creative with it and let the kids really have fun just playing with the balls. So Nolan, I'm gonna give you one of these balls. And the first thing we're gonna do is bounce the ball down with our rackets, okay? So we're gonna bounce balls down. So you wanna show them how to do this. Bounce them down. Let them do this for a minute or so. They'll have fun going around, trying to get their balls. It will not be this easy for them. Okay, the next thing let's try and do is, let's try and do bounce ups. Bounce ups, can you do bounce ups? Right at eye height, eye height. Okay, now let's try and do, woo! <laughs> bounce up and then bounce on the ground. So up and then down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you're hitting it up and then you're letting it bounce. Okay, let's try bouncing the ball really, really high now, Nolan. Really high up, high up. Woo, that's hard. Really high up, good. <laughs> Let's try bouncing it really low now. Can you bounce it really low? Like a basketball player, nice and low? Okay, how about on one knee? Can you go on one knee? Good job. Can you do it on the side of the racket? You showed this to me earlier. See you on the side. Nice. That's awesome. Great work. You can have them do this for about five minutes. It's a great warm-up activity. They'll get them really excited about playing with the rackets and the balls. This activity is called ball chase. Again, Nolan's going to be my partner. Come here, Nolan. Come a little bit closer to me and face the other way. So open up your legs. I'm gonna roll the ball through his legs. He can't look though, he has to look ahead. When I say go, he's gonna sprint to the ball. Ready, go. Nice. And then we switch partners. So you ready? Tell me when to go. Go. You can do that about five times each partner, so a total of 10 times get them really excited and moving a lot. Lobster trap. Here you go, are they excited in it? Kids love lobster trap. In partners, one person's gonna toss the ball, the other person has two rackets in their hand, and they're gonna catch the ball together and then return the ball to their partner. The ball has to bounce once before they catch it. Nice, and then return. Perfect. See how it looks like a lobster catching it? Nice. One more time. After five successful tries, they switch and the other person gets to go. Now, Nolan, can you drop one racket down? Put one racket up in the net? Perfect. Now, this is called the half pound lobster trap, okay? Now they're actually going to trap the racket with their hand in the racket, okay? So you want to make sure they turn to their forehand side and catch the ball. You ready, Nolan? Here we go. Bounce once and catch. Oops. And that's going to happen a lot. <laughs> Let's try it again. Ready? And catch. Nice. See how he's catching it out in front of him? Catch out in front. Oops. Here we go. One more time. One more time. Ready? Bounce and catch. Perfect. Again, after four to five successes, they switch partners. If they don't succeed at first, try, try again. Splat, all right. Can you come on the other side? Bring that racket for me. Splat is a game that you're gonna need a target for. These will be provided. Again, the kids are in partners. And what they're trying to do is hit that target. They wanna work together as a team. So every time one of them hits that target, their team gets a point. They're trying to hit the ball up with the racket, not down, up to land onto the target. You ready? So we're hitting it up, up. Oh, close, close. Oh! Oh, splat, nice work, good job, that was awesome. Perfect. This progresses to rally over a line with a partner. Can I have that ball? 
Thank you. We're gonna find a line on the court. Okay, it doesn't matter what line, you can even draw a line with your foot. But we're gonna use this line right here because it's already here. You want them to each stand about four feet behind that line. We're gonna rally to each other. Again, ball goes up in the air. We're not hitting down. We've gotta go over that line every time. You know one's pretty good at this. These kids probably will not be this good. So you're gonna to have to emphasize nice and light and hitting up on the ball, up and over that line. Up, up, left swing, left swing. More of a tap, just a little tap. Up, and up, nice, and up, and up, good. Up, oop, oh, I missed that one, up. So every time they wanna try and hit over this line. Now that progresses to rallying over a net. So the rally over the net is the next one. So Nolan, can I have you on the other side? You're gonna have them come straight up to the net. You wanna match them up forehand to forehand and slowly walk back. They wanna keep it on this side of their bodies, on their forehands. So you bounce, whoop, I messed up. <laughs> Here you go. You wanna start it? Bounce and hit, nice, bounce and hit. Nice and light. They're not trying to hit the ball hard. Make sure they don't hit hard, control. They wanna get right to the partner's racket, right on their racket. Not a big swing. Try a little swing, little swing, good. One more, nice, okay, good job. Okay, the next one going to be a, a toss and catch. So we're going to put the rackets down. Rackets down. Yep. One bounce and we want to move our partners around. So you have to catch it on one bounce and send it back to me. Okay. Nice. Good job. So you're simulating a point here where they're moving around the court and throwing the balls underhand. Every ball needs to be thrown underhand just like you would in tennis. So no overhand throw. Oops, I missed that one. Underhand. And moving their partner around the court. Moving their partner around. Good. Next we have the ball drop. All right, Nolan, we got two more here. Ball drop. All right, so I got a ball in either hand. You don't know which one I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop one. Again, the kids are in partners. They're doing this with each other. Ready? On your mark, get set, go. Oh, that was good. Okay, take one step back this time. You're too close. Ready, set, and go. Nice. Have them do this five or six times with each other and then switch partners and they go again. If it's too easy, they take steps back to make it harder. We'll do one more time. Can you get it? One, two, three, go. Nice. Good work. The last activity is a tennis ball relay. This is a really fun race. You're gonna put them in teams, no more than five per team. Grab our rackets. We're gonna start at the baseline. The baseline for the 36 foot court is right here. Nolan and I are gonna be the first people on our team. We're gonna pretend that there's four people behind each of us. We have to race to the net, touch the net, and race back. Then we pass it off to our teammate and our teammate races down and races back. The first team to have all their players down and back wins. Now this will probably be a little easier for the seven and eight year old. So to make this more difficult, you can do the same relay with them bouncing two balls on their racket, or you can have them bounce the balls down and back. Uh oh, you gotta go get that now. So you can do the same relay with them doing this. Down, touch the net, and back and then pass it off then we can continue the continue the exercises back in the beginning um, we're going to be on the court for about two hours